You, you know, Larry, I think I touched on something in Ohio three days last week when I was there in Lorraine and Cleveland and Youngstown, is that folks in that state, when it comes to trade, believe that something can be done, but nothing's being done to help the workers. And I think that is the frustration that's motivating a lot of people. It is a sense of unfairness that's playing out in our workplace in this country. You sense that? Absolutely. And, and even to go back to Boston for a second, the range of people who introduced him, from Bill McKibben, the well-known environmentalist, to Jimmy O'Brien, the leader of the Carmen's Union, facing privatization uh, in the city of Boston. Uh, this is the range of, and, and then a young student, this is the range of people that are active and believe, that, yes, we can have a decent trade policy in America. We just need a president that will fight for it instead of worrying about the profits of the pharmaceutical company. That's what took TPP down to the wire uh, this morning and, and yesterday, is uh, the U.S. Trade Representative not worried about health care for Americans or for people around the world, but can I safeguard the profits for years to come of pharmaceutical companies for new products that they develop? This is not what America should be about, and I think that's what Bernie speaks to. No question about it. And, of course, you're referring to the Trans-Pacific Partnership, where the announcement came today, this Monday, that there is a deal tentatively struck. Uh, the issues in the automobile industry, the issues in agriculture, and the issues in biotech drugs apparently have been ironed out. Do you believe it's real? Do you think that, or is this window dressing thinking that they can mop this up? What, what, how, do you, how would you characterize this? Well, I, unfortunately, I think the U.S. Trade Representative is desperate to have a deal because of all the political capital they spent in advance passing fast track for no good reason for this deal, if they all the capital that the president spent on fast track, and then they come up with no deal. So you have the U.S. Uh, basically uh, caving in on things. So if we took auto as an example, it looks to me like we're giving away now the auto parts job. Yes. And in exchange, some vague promise, and that's what Toyota wanted, that they can bring cars in with less uh, U.S. content, still call them U.S. cars, and uh, the, the auto parts that right now surround their plants will come in from China and from Vietnam. Yeah. That's what they wanted. I think they got that. What the U.S. got supposedly in exchange is symbolic gestures about exporting U.S. cars to Japan, like a dealer network or things like that, which will be an illusion just like they were in Korea. But these illusions pass for politics in America. And that's, again, why we need the authenticity of a Bernie Sanders, and we need to all be active to the extent we can in campaigns and building this kind of political movement. So the, the auto parts industry is going to, to suffer and jobs are going to peel off because now a higher percentage of parts can be put in a car coming into the United States that are foreign, but it's going to be labeled American. It's an absolute fraud. This, in my opinion, erases a lot of good that has happened during the Obama years. This is a death knell to American jobs. It's unnecessary. This pivot to Asia is a fraud. And we're doing deals with countries that have Sharia law. And this idea about human rights and labor rights and workers' rights is all bullshit. And I, I'm disappointed in the president. I think it's a mistake. And I hope that Congress wakes up. It's got some interesting bedfellows on this. Hard right-wingers and lefties are together on this. And I hope in the up or down vote that this is voted down. There's still a possibility that that could happen. Larry Cohen, great to have you with us. We'll do it again. Ohio would be a great ground for Bernie Sanders. I'm going to be there when he gets there, and I know you will, too. Good to have you with us, Larry. My pleasure.